some of these encampments, they had matching tents. We're being told that there are professional outside agitators involved. We don't know if they're being paid to sow chaos by domestic folks or foreign entities. Does President Biden want his administration to find out who is funding some of these protests? What I can say, I, I, you know, um, I cannot, uh, I cannot speak to uh, the organizations that are being reported that it's on the ground. That is not something for me to speak to. Uh, that is obviously something that local governments, uh, local officials, I keep saying local government, local officials are uh, going to uh, speak to. They'll have better information uh, on that. Uh, what we have said, and I don't think I've iterated that yet from here, is that the DOJ and FBI is going to continue to offer support uh, to universities and colleges uh, with, in respect to federal laws. Uh, so that is something that the DOJ and FBI is doing. As far as uh, local organizations and what is all being reported on the ground, that is something that I'm, uh, that local uh, law enforcement I'm certainly is looking into. And I understand that President Biden historically has spoken yeah. very forcefully about uh, anti-Semitism. But this week, he's not. He's MIA. Is he that worried about losing the youth vote with these protesters? I'm going to be mindful. You're talking about youth vote. You're talking about 2024. No, Support no, no. no. Young people. I, I'm, I, I have to say what I have to say, and just give me a second. Uh, so I'm not going to speak about somebody's doorbell. Is that a doorbell? Yeah, yeah. An alarm. An alarm. Okay. All right. Um, and I'll, I'll speak more broadly. I can't speak to youth, people, youth and support and voters. That's not something I can do from here. Uh, the president uh, has taken a lot of policy actions here uh, that he knows that young people care about. And a lot of those actions are popular with those young folks, whether it's giving a little bit of breathing room with student debt relief. So we made an announcement today, matter of fact, and we are going to continue to do that because we think it's important as families or as an American and you coming out of college and you want to build a family, buy a home, uh, you have the opportunity to do that and not be crushed by student debt. The president understands how important it is to deal with that issue. Climate change something that young people tr really, truly care about. One of the crises that the president said he came into having to deal with was the climate change crisis. As the president has taken more, has taken aggressive, aggressive action to deal with climate crisis. You look, I can't speak to, um, I can't speak to youth voters or their support. What we're going to do is continue to take actions that we believe helps all Americans and, and all communities. You mentioned what he said in 2017 after yeah. Charlottesville. He said about Trump's response then, Charlottesville for me was a moment where I thought silence would be complicity. Yeah. So how does he explain, how do you explain yeah. his silence this week? The president has not been silent on this issue when it comes to hate speech, anti-Semitism. He started, he, wait, has. he started, he launched the first ever anti-Semitism uh, uh, strategy to counter anti-Semitism, something that no other president did. No and other president do. A, a school building on a, at an Ivy League campus got and taken I, over. And we call that out. And we said that is not peacefully protesting. Taking over a building at a university is, or a college is not peacefully protesting. And we've been very clear. We've been very clear. Taking more than 100 new actions to deal with anti-Semitism in this administration, no one has ever done that before. Not any other administration has ever Does done that before. We're going, going to continue. Bio, we're going to continue. Records. We're going to continue to do the work, and it's not just here in the White House. We're talking about DOJ. We're talking about uh, Homeland Security, right? We're talking about Department of uh, Department of Education, talking and, and working with campuses and colleges to deal with this issue. We have seen a uptick in anti-Semitism in the last certainly several months in the past year, and we have to call that out. And it is not okay. It is not okay. Go ahead, Phil.